And so the honeymoon, did you go on the honeymoon right away? As fast as we could get out of there. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> but what got me was he wanted to eat all the time. Oh, just like today. I yeah. Haven't changed. He hasn't you changed, haven't changed a bit at all, after all these you? years. Still that way. <laughs> He's a big guy. So his first priority was to get something to eat? Yeah, it was for a fact. <laughs> <clears throat> So what did you do? <laughs> well, what could I do? You Just went to a 24-hour diner or something, huh? Well, no. no. By that time, we were at... Uh, did you go to Yosemite? No, we, we stayed uh, overnight, though, in a hotel. That's right. Merced. In, in Merced? Merced? Yeah. Okay. And then we went on to... Uh, Yosemite? Yosemite. Yeah. And so did you have a good honeymoon there? And you know what he did? No, what do you do? He, he did crossword puzzles the whole time. You're kidding me. No, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> Were you ready to... <laughs> you did crossword puzzles. You'd just pull off the side of the road and sit there and start doing crossword puzzles. While he was driving, he stopped and did crossword puzzles? <laughs> yeah, you know, he's just kind of a... You thought, what did, What kind of man did yeah, I marry? Yeah, I know, really. I, I kept thinking, what have I gotten myself into here? Yeah. Anyway. But I was just happy for the part that we could go into that uh, little restaurant type place there. Our room was as tiny as could be, as I remember. Was it? Wasn't like a suite, huh? Wasn't a honeymoon oh, no, suite? Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it a twin bed? Was it twin beds? You oh, had two it, single beds? Oh, I think it was. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you know, it was funny. So were you in tears by the end of the honeymoon? No, there was something about him I still liked him okay. real well. well yeah, I'm glad you liked him. Yeah. <laughs> At least I liked him. <laughs> That's important. So no, I really loved him. Yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah. So, um, now tell me about Colorado. Oh, yeah. When we went to Colorado, well... <laughs> That was interesting, too. Why did you go to Colorado? Because uh, he was stationed there. By that time, he'd been transferred. So he was to, still in the service, yeah. He was still in the service. And so, of course, his first item is to put me to work. Oh. So I went, had to get a job there working in the post office. And rightly so. You had no children yet. Yeah, <laughs> rightly You're so. You're not going to sit home and just take advantage of this poor young man, are you? <laughs> no, I guess you're right. <laughs> and then, um, okay, what was your next question? Um, so you were in Colorado, you put you to work in Colorado? Yeah, and I worked in the post office. Okay. You had worked in the post office before in yeah. L.A., huh? Yeah. Okay. So I, I just carried that on out, but we lived in a store. Oh, a store upstairs, downstairs, it in the back. A, <laughs> what it kind was of store? on the street, you know, right? Is the sidewalk right there? You walked into the store. Yeah. And, and you were in your house. And we were uh, so that there was no privacy because they didn't have any drapes. It was a store. And how are you know how are we going to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Me. How are you going to do what, Mom? <laughs> oh, that's right. You were newlywed. I was still trying to figure out, yeah, what are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, what kind of a store? Yeah, what kind? Well, because of the war, they had just taken this one particular place, and they were, it was at one time a store, let's put it that way, and they had other couples. Oh. Uh, renting little places in there too. Oh, yeah. But then you know we had to share bathroom with everybody under the sun, and mm -hmm. I always felt pretty cruddy when I went to work in the morning to the I post bet. office. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you probably had a wild night too. <laughs> I know. Not a good place to take a shower after. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, did you leave Colorado? Yeah, we left Colorado. I thought you left him and there. And that's when I realized. 
I thought he stayed and you came home. No? Mm -mm. You stayed with him the whole time? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I never let him out of my sight. Oh. But Why when did I got out home, I thought that for years. Yeah. I was sick as a dog, and that's when I realized I was pregnant with you. Oh. I lucky thought, you. Well, you came from Colorado. Remember oh, that. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> I started out in Colorado. That explains a lot. Rocky Mountain High. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So oh, let's yeah, see. Going home, I was so sick. We were on the train, you know. Uh, uh. I bet. Okay, so you came home on the train. Was Dad out of the service then? When you came back to the Bay Area from Colorado? I don't think so. Where did you live when you got back to the Bay Area? When you came back from Colorado? Anybody remember that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I still thought that you left Dad there. You were so homesick and everything, and you came home. No? No, I didn't come home. Okay. Uh -uh. I never left him. Okay. Well, d did you move? Didn't you live in a? I thought you lived. We lived with Grandma Barry. Oh, you lived with Gam Grandma Barry for a while. Yeah. Okay. And that was pretty hard on everybody. Oh, <laughs> I kind of remember a little about that. Can you think of some incidents there? Why it was hard? Well, yeah, John David. He was young, very young, and yeah, about he was 12, uh, ten, twelve. Uh, I yeah, and he just wasn't ever doing his homework like he's supposed to, and so Grandma was so tough about it, you know, and making him. And then when the, she'd line them up to go to church on Sunday, she'd make them all sit down. She'd get them all fixed up, and then they were to sit down and to stay down now until... you say they. Who, who else? Well, the it? other kids, too. Like they Aunt were, Robert, I mean, Aunt Laverne and Aunt uh, Betty, they were yeah. all still there? Okay. Yeah. And they, she'd make them all sit down. Yeah. And just sit there until she was ready to take them on mm -hmm. the Sunday school. Kind of like you made us do when when we were little kids. And, yeah. Yeah. I mean, how can you go in and get dressed or fix yourself up when the kids are running around? They're saying, ah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. they're fighting with each other and everything. So it was good that she made them sit down. Yeah. Okay. She, yeah, she was. She whipped it. You know. Yeah. They were going to the, the whip. They were going to the Friends Church then, uh -huh. which is uh, what denomination is that? That's, That's a Quaker. Quaker, right? Okay. So everybody tiptoes in. They are real quiet? Yeah. Does nobody talk? No, there's a pastor that talks. But do they have music? A little bit. Uh -huh. But a it's lot. just a very serious, quiet church. Yeah. Nothing like Crosswinds today. <laughs> no, <laughs> far from it. <laughs> okay. So, um, so you lived there for a while.